if I say Austin's okay, believe you me, he's okay. So I'm going with what Janice says, right? Of course, she keeps <laughs> complete sense all the time. <laughs> And uh, Janice also said... Uh, uh, have, you, uh, have you ever tried to run the soldiers? <laughs> I forgot about I, those. I, I, I had a bald egg with soldiers the other day and I used her, um, I used her master chef recipe. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, but Janice did say she was humiliated by the psycho dribble coming out of the Americans' mouths. Wow. Well. well. <laughs> um, do you think Stevie is pleased that Janice has gone? Must be, must not he? Maybe, but why did we see Stevie and Chloe arguing oh, yeah, at the end of this show that we just know. watched? Apart from the fact that they know 100% that the cameras are on and rolling and catching them because after someone's gone, mm-hmm. you know, uh, yeah, for the next five true. minutes, yeah, you're, you're, you, yeah. you're on, basically. It was something about sleeping in the same bed together or something. Yeah, he said he was going to change beds and she was like, why would you be mm-hmm. so cruel yeah. to me? But hang on, she don't want to have a family see her giving fake blowjobs in the toilet <laughs> without the taps on I mean what the Stevie fuck Stevie looked quite pissed off of her Richie yeah yeah Richie was furious <laughs> there's only one Stevie and it's Stevie Lenahan <laughs> ah now did he design the jumpers or fuck no is he one of the dogs Stevie Lenahan would you call a dog Stevie Lenahan it's a bit elaborate didn't you think the who's in ch- <laughs> I suppose she didn't thank John Demar. Now Janice didn't appreciate Darvro setting the tone in Richie's head that Janice was fake. Now who do you think we'll spend more time together after Big Brother? Janice and Chloe or Lauren Harris and Courtney Stodden? Who do you think spent more time together after Big Brother or will spend? Well, I don't know how much time the other two spent together. Well A couple of afternoons? Exact if that. Oh, then I would say Lauren Harry's hands down. Had more time together. Of course. What, you think Janice will never see Chloe again? Why would she? She's got... She's on Survivor next week. <laughs> Doing the reality rounds. Can you imagine her on Survivor? She <laughs> fucks. Mind you, a jumper in the wilderness. <laughs> always very help. handy. That yeah, would, especially four of the things. So that's it. Well, brilliant. Fuck me. Two more days to go. Oh... So how is James going to turn his game around? Why is Natasha going to win, Natasha, when she's not done anything? Um, what about Bobby Davro? Why is he still there? Sherry, she's useless. Well, there has to be six people in the final, right? Mm-hmm. It used to be five, didn't it? So. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he's going to come out two by two. If you come out oh. Chloe and Stevie, it'd be two by three. Oh, oh that would... That would be the sensible thing, Ugh. though, wouldn't it, for those two to come out together? No, but they're gonna they're gonna go deeper than that. Do you, you want to do so? your prediction for the final, or you can't do it? My prediction for the final two mm-hmm. is James mm-hmm. and Austin. Austin, because it has to be one American, right? Otherwise, there's no logic to it. That would be really entertaining. But do you think the who idiot would, who... general public are really going to give us what we want? Well, I mean, Danny Whisker only comes third, so we can't be that stupid. Gary Busey won, so there is hope. There is hope for America, right? There is some, but right? Austin's not got Alzheimer's and can wash his own balls and <laughs> Surely Sherry and Bobby must be out first. Sherry and Bobby? Mm-hmm. Why? Because he would vote for them to win when they're not done anything. Well, you got the loose women. Yeah. You got the Coronation Streeters. Mm-hmm. Then Davro, Mr. Saturday Night, Sherry's former not... East Ender star for Sh- six months. Sherry has not been in Coronation Street for about twenty years. True. Um, mind you, I don't know who's voting for Natasha. I don't know who's voting for Chloe and Stevie. I know a lot of people are voting for James, but I think a lot of people are behind Austin now. And I know a lot of people hate Austin. But a lot of people like him, so I'm hoping it's going to be like the Helen Wood factor. With Big Brother, it's always the same thing, yeah? You've got two people at the end that fucking hate each yeah. other. Or like Helen Wood and that Irish girl. Rylan and Spidey. Exactly. Gary Busey and... It wasn't James Jordan, was it? It was Audley Harrison. Oh, was it? All, yeah. They got on, though. Yeah, no, but James Jordan was third. It's always so and versus yeah, so yeah, so exactly. it's a general thing. Yeah. So I think the only Katie real... Katie Hopkins and Katie Price. Yeah, exactly. So the mm-hmm. only real 
to the only real pair mm-hmm. is James and Austin. Yeah. And then for that to work, the storyline has to be that you feel sorry for Austin. Yeah. And or you think that James is a lovable ex apprentice uh, contestant. Who bit someone in the face. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. We said, we've already mentioned that. Yeah. But also, wouldn't it be good to see James's face if Austin won? It would be magic. Yeah. And, and even better would be to see our faces. So that's about it. Well, there we go then. Uh, we, it's been good though, hasn't it? I must admit, it's been a brilliant CBB. It One of my favourites. It's been a good year. I can't mm-hmm. wait for them to ruin it right at the last minute. But I hope that they do uh, UK versus USA every year. Or at least have like three or four American housemates. It's the same thing, isn't it? And basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because imagine if it was just like Bobby, Sherry, and Natasha in there. But we still say they should film it on. But hang on, what when if you get a decent Hungarian or a Greek, what are you going to do? I say film the thing on an oil rig somewhere, or like in in Switzerland is the obvious choice, mm-hmm. and have a separate compound mm-hmm. and have the whole thing neutral. Yeah, you're right, actually, because it's like alienating all the rest of the nations, just UK versus USA. We should just have Euro Euro wars or something. When they first announced the uh, twist, which was UK versus USA, everyone on Twitter said, what's the fucking point if Americans can't vote? Which is true. Mm-hmm. It's a very good point. And the only alternative to that is to have, like, competitions like Paravio or HOH or whatever. So you shift the balance of power, so mm-hmm. you make it fairer for the Americans who've got no votes from the public, or so you wouldn't think. So And it hasn't been fair, because a lot of Americans are gone who have been entertaining, so it ain't fair. I mean, just look at Chris Ellison. <laughs> yeah, he's quality. He was brilliant in Starsky and Arch. <laughs> what? Your Nick Sunshine. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week. Um, follow me no that's not it for this week because it all finishes this week alright well that's that's it for tonight then. <laughs> yeah go on follow you where home yeah <laughs> follow me uh, big brother bio follow me light up VM oh I'm unemployed so why don't you buy my book first aid kit girl it's on Amazon get it on Kindle get it on paperback support your local otherwise you know we can't do podcasts because computer gets repossessed you got a book deal no, I ain't got even got a deal. Yeah, you even got a magazine. Just selling it out the back of a van. You haven't got a magazine deal. No. Even. Oh fuck. Come on, hell. guys, have a heart. Fuck's sake. Anyway, please, please, please vote for Austin to win. Team America. Come on, we can do it. Good evening. Goodbye. Night night.